Aloha. Thank you for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. If you subtract the fact that the organizer and leader of the insurrection was a former president and the participants were his acolytes, and just assume that we were there and did the very same things with our friends and weapons, you get a different result. You would be in the clink in a matter of minutes, and you would be charged and arrested for serious crimes, held without bail, indicted, prosecuted, tried, convicted, fined and imprisoned for the crimes of insurrection, seditious conspiracy, interference with government, along with felony murder and accessory to assault and trespass. We would have had a really bad day had we done what Trump did. But Trump hasn't been charged with anything and here we are 20 months later. So far he's gotten away with it, simply because he was president. He escaped the sad sack Mueller investigation on Ukraine, two impeachments, and the failed Cyrus Vance investigation in New York. To say nothing of stealing nuclear secrets at Mar-a-Lago. We're still waiting on an indictment from Merrick Garland. Worse, this will be all the more difficult as and when the GOP takes both houses. For January 6, Trump had to organize a huge nationwide conspiracy. It took a lot of work and a lot of hard-working co-conspirators, many more than those who gathered at the Willard Hotel. Sure, we've learned more in the January 6 committee, but still none of the big boys have been brought to justice. We all gasped on January 6, but given the news cycles and the Trump distractions since then, we seem to take these events less seriously as time goes on. Trump has played the angles, the media, and the system, and walked away at least so far. Maybe he's not so stupid after all. He has proven yet again that the rule of law does not apply to him. He sets up his misdeeds as deniable, he establishes a network of loyalists in government, he rewards those who are loyal and punishes those who are not, he lies and encourages lying, he conspires sand encourage conspiracies and conspiracy theories. He denies and doubles down, he makes outrageous statements and does outrageous things to distract and control the media and uses it to spread those shameless lies, he claims to be a victim, he threatens, intimidates and dog-whistles his base for violence against his enemies, he creates corruption and chaos whenever he can. Still, even now, he sets the agenda. Thanks so much for considering the views expressed in this ThinkTech commentary. Aloha.